Greenville drivers will soon get answers to their traffic congestion concerns after a nine on your side report revealed deficiencies in one of our most heavily traveled roads. WNCT's Brandon Goldner is live along Greenville Boulevard where he first reported how city leaders are spending $55,000 to alleviate traffic jams. Brandon. Angela, that money will go to readjusting the timing of these traffic lights along Greenville Boulevard, though it will only do so much as Greenville Boulevard is built with many deficiencies, including a lot of shopping center driveways and a lot of major roads like Evans Street intersecting Greenville Boulevard, causing a lot of traffic slowdowns. And it's those traffic slowdowns and distracted driving that are why the Greenville Police Community Relations Committee is bringing in city leaders to address these congestion issues. Issues. Chairwoman Diane Kulik says the number of people who complained to her about these busy, dangerous roads prompted her board to host this forum. It will allow you to voice your questions, your concerns to Police Traffic Unit Sergeant Mike Montaigne and City Traffic Engineer Rick DeCesar. The area that most of us, where there can be something that goes wrong that can affect you or your family, would be traffic. Okay. A safety demonstration will start off this forum. That will be at 6 p.m. tomorrow in the GUC parking lot. The meeting itself will be at 6.30 p.m. inside City Hall. Now, one of the things that will be discussed likely at this meeting is this Greenville Boulevard traffic light study. I spoke to Rick DeCesar back in July. He told me this study will actually get started in a few weeks in the fall. We will keep you updated on the progress of that study as well as other initiatives the city will be doing to better your commute. Live in Greenville, Brandon Goldner, 9 on your side.